Hi guys and welcome to my channel Lady Pandemonium 101. Today we're going to be talking about my March Ipsy bag. Super, super cute blush pink bag. Folds over and zips. Adorable. I really like this bag this month. So in my Ipsy bag I got the Curl Keeper Leave-In Conditioner. I did try this out in my hair and I have to tell you it was great for detangling but as for frizziness and protecting my hair from the humidity I mean it does claim that that's what it's supposed to do it didn't so much <laughs> not with my hair anyway. the next item that I got was this Elizabeth Mott blending brush this seems to be a pretty good brush um, I'm gonna try it with the other item that I got, which was the Freematic eyeshadow from uh, Do Duse? Dose? Duse? I don't know how to say that. I think I have like one other product from them. Oh, did it? Does this just come off like that? These are so tiny. So tiny. But it is magnetic, so you can put it in a Z pack if you wanted to. But yeah, I'm gonna try um, try this product out. Okay, so it's not very pigmented. It's more like a um, a highlighter type color. It does have. A little bit of shimmer to it it is pretty it's a rose gold color and they did say on the ipsy site that you could use this also as an eyeliner if you dipped your brush or sprayed your brush with um, setting spray I am gonna try to do that as well the brush seems to work pretty nicely it's very firm but soft there's no fallout on this eyeshadow though so that's nice all right so, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the color. Not really seeing much color. I'm not even seeing much product come off onto my brush, actually. I mean, I don't know if you can see that. That's about as good as it got. The next item is a uh, Model Company Eyeliner. So I'm gonna put this on my waterline and tight line. And I probably should have opened this before we got started. Ooh, okay. So I opened it up and it's got like a little bit of like a film over it. All right, it's not really working. <laughs> so I'm gonna go off camera and see if I can work with it a little bit and then I'm gonna throw some mascara on and I'll come back and I'll show you the last product. Okay, so the liner was a dud. Very disappointed. Um, it wasn't working on my waterline at first and uh, so I tried it on my lid and I smudged it a little bit on this one and it came out okay And then I tried it on my waterline again and it started to work just a little bit So I got a little bit of color, but then when I went to do my other eye It broke so <laughs> This eye looks a little janky and um, yeah I, Product broke wasn't wasn't that great probably won't ever use it again and definitely not gonna purchase I'm hoping that not all of their products are like this um, I did see some of their products on Ulta the other day and I was kind of curious about it but not impressed so far so anyways the last item is the Tarte Tartiest lip paint and this color is in Vibin tried their lip paint before. I'm just now starting to get into liquid lipsticks and stains and such so I'm usually a gloss girl but yeah let's try this out. 
Oh, that is a very dark color. And this is exactly why I say that I'm just now getting in. Oh, that's that really, not really, really what the are there. <laughs> and it's on the teeth. And it seems to dry pretty fast. And it's on the teeth. And it's on the teeth. Probably should have did this off camera. So that, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty color, beautiful color. So yeah, this stuff does dry really fast, and I gotta say, once it's dry, it's not budging at all. Um, it does feel good on the lips. It doesn't feel too drying. You probably could wear a gloss over it if you're more of a glossy person. I do like this one, though. Out of all the products, I think that I do like the Tardius Lip Paint the best and the brush. Um, the eyeshadow is okay. I will probably use it again. As for purchasing, probably not. Um, and the eyeliner, definitely a no. The um, same thing with the hair product. I mean, it was it was really great for detangling my hair, but did absolutely nothing for styling. And with a girl that has curls as big and thick and you know super curly as mine. Definitely need a good hair product. So, um, yeah. So that's it, guys. I mean, thank you for watching and please subscribe. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a great day.